Hello and welcome to your Orange Zest webisode. I'm Nicole Dementry, bringing you the top 10 entertainment stories you should know for this weekend. And the wait is finally over. Sam Smith released the theme song for the upcoming James Bond film, Spectre, on Friday. The song titled Writings on the Wall is a haunting love song very in line with Smith's usual style. Smith previously said it only took him 20 minutes to write because his creative juices just kept flowing. And Black Mirror is being revived thanks to Netflix. The TV show grabbed headlines earlier this week when one of its episodes was eerily similar to British Prime Minister's pig scandal. It joins a long list of shows revived by the internet giant, including Arrested Development and Longmire. And the Kardashians sure are a hard family to keep up with these days. With all Kardashian news is Amber Hunter. Khloe Kardashian just might have the smallest waist in the industry. The reality star posted a photo on Instagram wearing a hot pink and black waist trainer. Her caption said, who doesn't love a good bathroom selfie? Let's snatch that waist. However, this is not the first time Khloe posted a photo on Instagram showing off, her, off of her tiny waist. Three weeks ago, Chloe posted a picture on Instagram and said, I'm obsessed with the gym, but a little extra help never hurt nobody. Little does Chloe know, waist training could be harmful. After medical experts have warned her about how harmful waist training could be for your organs, Chloe Kardashian still wears the corset daily to obtain the I ideal hourglass figure. Seems like a bunch of celebrities have also hopped on the waist training bandwagon. Kourtney Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, Black China, and Lindsay Lohan have also been promoting waist training on Instagram. 90s era Nickelodeon shows are making their return. The multi-platform project called The Splat will air on Teen Nick. The Splat will run nightly for eight hours and will have its very own social media accounts and website. It will debut on October 5th. This was the first big week of the fall TV season. In the studio with all of these shows you need to watch is Lauren Dana. Lauren? This week marked the premieres of many of our favorite shows. Season 2 of Empire began on Tuesday and fan favorite Cookie Lyons, along with her many one-liners, was finally back on screens across the country. Also premiering this week was Ryan Murphy's new series, Scream Queens. The series centers around sorority members on a fictional college campus and stars Emma Roberts, Leah Michelle, Jamie Lee Curtis, among many other A-listers. The premiere also featured cameos from Ariana Grande and Nick Jonas. The 12th season of Grey's Anatomy aired last, last night with fans still reeling from the death of Patrick Dempsey's beloved character, Derek Shepard. In addition, Scandal returned for season five and Olivia Pope was forced to handle yet another complicated international scandal while balancing her romance with President Fitz. How to Get Away with Murder aired its season two premiere following Scandal and featured Annalise Keating, played by Emmy winner Viola Davis, and the rest of the cast in the middle of a murder case yet again. Overall, fans are expecting promising episodes ahead of the fall premieres of each of these shows. Tune in next week for more entertainment news and TV scoop. Halloween is near and Walmart might be facing a scare after a children's costume named Little Amigo made it on their sale page. The retail giant has noted that the costume goes against their product policy and has since been taken down. Apologies to the public have also been made as they said they did not intend to offend anyone. And on September 29th, the contract that bound the Beatles to manager Brian Epstein will be up for grabs at the Southeast Rock and Pop Exhibition in London. The contract was signed in 1962 and is expected to sell for up to $800,000. In addition to the contract, the exhibition will also feature a variety of other rare and coveted items from the group. And experts say the man bun trend can make you bald. Continuous strain on hair roots, like in a tight bun, eventually causes it to fall out. The problem has been known in women for a while and is beginning to now show up in men. Officials say the full effects of the trend will not be known for another few years. And that's all we have today for your Orange Zest webisode. Orange Zest will be back next week with all of your entertainment news on OTN channel 14.1. I'm Nicole Dementry. Enjoy your weekend, Syracuse.